Fender is using our um, pickup selector switches. Gibson using the JT toggles in their custom shop. Boeing using my indicators all over the plane, under the plane. You're going to see our toggles used on night vision goggles. You know, we're, we're in the air, we're in cars, we're in your speakers. What Electric Switch is so cool about is we're a large company, but we're intimate and personal enough with our customers to develop custom parts for pretty much everyone. here for our blade switches. For the guitar players, this is how you're gonna either combine your like neck, bridge, just one. It all depends on how you wire it. So the luthiers, the guitar builders, they can wire these things, split coils, do whatever they want, um, and get really unique sounds all using our same switch. Two years ago, we released a JT1601. What we did was we took feedback from the market, because we don't wanna just come in the market with something that's already there, you know? So feedback from Switchcraft was it's very long, so for shallower guitar bodies, it, it, it won't work. So we made a more compact style. It's pre-jumpered with a ground lug. It has no noise, whereas Switchcraft's loud. We got it to be as quiet as possible. A lot of guys are doing those big toggle switches there. So this is new, black and gold finishes. People like the cosmetics. So this is how we're able to compete. You know, we're molding the component parts, we're forming the fabricated metal parts at our Philadelphia plant, dumping them in hoppers, about nine different hoppers, and out pops hundreds of finished good product, hands off. I mean, it's really impressive facility and designs up there. So we have a catalog. We have 150,000 catalog part numbers, but what we do on a weekly basis is people call in, I like this, but, you know, and so we start making adjustments. Maybe we change the grease. Maybe they want a smoother feel. Maybe they want to hear the feedback of a tactical switch. Maybe they don't want any clicking. So we'll take that standard product and customize it as best we can, you know, working together to get what they need. Um, dependability and reliability is really important to us. So we'll sample it. We'll sample it three times, you know, however many stages of prototyping your company has to do. Once customers try the product, I encourage them to give feedback. I don't want there to be any doubt that they are totally happy with the product, you know, because that leaves room for my competitors to come in. So we look for feedback on tactical feel stuff. But if I go into the project knowing what they're looking for in the first place, we can pretty much hit the nail on the head really early on. And uh, feedback's always positive. I don't know that I've ever sampled a switch that they don't end up buying.